Yo. I think this one will be better. I think this one will be better. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay, right? Jesus, I'm messing the mouse. It is better. Okay. So let's help others to know we are back. Whoa. It is better. It's still okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, good. Okay, let's quickly share, share, share. Get the people back to the video so that we can do it quickly before it goes off again. Yeah, God bless you, Anne. God bless you, Sister Ivy. God bless you, Sister Mag Magirin Maria. I'm so happy to be here. I hope that I've been pronounced the name. Magirin. So happy to be here. Amen. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to be uh, in this program. We pray for your wisdom. We pray for understanding in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for clarity. We pray for peace. Honor. Lower your voice. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Can I go ahead now? This one will work in Jesus' name. Can I go ahead now? Yes, please. Yeah, I was saying that uh, in the week I got some uh, some videos uh, from different people um, concerning um, three days of darkness on earth. Yeah, I have uh, a lot of a lot of them, maybe three. Yeah, three or four. Now, in the video, um, I think the first one was a man. I don't know where he lives. Um, but I'll be playing it. We'll be playing it so that we judge it, okay? And um, he said that tomorrow, that is the 4th of, that'll be the 4th of April. 
from 10 to 12 noon day will be a darkness over the whole world um, I, I watch it I believe you also watch it now from there um, a sister uh, they send me her audio no her video also and uh, she also she didn't give a date but it's like she also heard it before but when she went to pray she had a dream and the dream she saw how the world was dark and uh, even her sister had to go out and she was not the same now um i've thought of the thing um i'm somebody i don't want to be against what god is doing and also i don't want to support what the devil is doing uh, at this point i would like to lead you and myself you should go to the word of god uh, why the word of god because it's the only place we can know what is happening what should happen what we should do the word of god is our manual of living is our constitutions as a child of god jesus said my word i raise above myself now when it comes to revelations when it comes to prophecy there are laid down rules like when it comes to revelation when somebody give you a revelation somebody give you a, a prophecy or somebody come with a revelation and say jesus say the lord say god say when we look at the scriptures uh the bible has spoke to us oh no the bible have spoke to us teach us how we should discern and we should judge prophecy so this is one of the things we will do i don't think god will be angry with us because we want to we want to know these days how many people who can truly or easily hear god talking to them how many people hmm? how many people these days who can boldly say oh, i've heard god god spoke to me and especially when it comes to visions and dreams um you are not in the person's dream you don't know what the person have uh you don't know what the person ate you don't know where the person slept you don't know what constitutes to the dream of the person so when you come with dream you can't force it on us we have every right as a child of god to check whatever you bring to us we are not just going to uh receive and feed ourselves with it we have every right to ask questions now, before we get to the main thing concerning prophecy, let's go to First uh, Thessalonians chapter five. Let's read some Bible small. First Thessalonians chapter five. Um, I mean, I don't know whether somebody is here that you have not watched those video, but I'll be playing it for you also. Okay, or um, what should I do? I should play it first before we read, or we read before we play. Which one? I know you you you've watched it, but I would like to play it as we judge together, especially when. And I'll give you my reasons why I'm doing this. Okay? Yeah, I have a reason why I'm doing this. I give you the reasons. Especially when the person has given a date, like tomorrow, it will be darkness. And the person said, the Lord have told him, then we have to judge it. Because if I come to your house, I say, oh, the Lord tell me to tell you to give me your car. The Lord tell me to open uh, what else you don't like giving uh, to empty your account and give 
you should be led if the lord is the lord you know that whether is the lord so i will not just force you that just do it is the lord is the lord no if it's the lord then we have to be patient and we have a right to judge things is that okay yeah first thessalonians or uh, thessalonians first thessalonians chapter 5 the verse number 18 even 17 17 say pray with that uh pray with that season now the verse 18 down to 21 yeah god bless you yeah let's go in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you verse 19 the verse 19 said this it said quench not the spirit first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 19 it said quench not the spirit quench not the spirit so something that is spiritual you don't quench it yeah the bible says quench not the spirit the verse 20 said despise not prophesy prophesy you know the father people lie the father uh, some people are not accurate the father there are a lot of confusion when it comes to revelation uh, when it comes to prophecies it doesn't mean that it does not exist right now the reason why we have the counterfeit is because we have the original which example i'll give uh do you have a, a two dollar note if you don't have two dollar note then they can't be a counterfeit of that dollar bill the reason why we have counterfeit is because the original is there the original is there okay so whether the person have wings whether the person have long beard and when they come with a revelation and the person say god because we were not there and say god told you to inform us thank you but we have our right to check whether what you are telling us is in the word of god because the scriptures are inspired by god and the scriptures are god's commandment to us everything that will happen and how it will happen the law has given it to us in the word of god some of you don't read bible so you don't know or the interpretation of people may change but let's see it's a question of the spirit despite no prophesying verse 21 that's why you should pay attention don't quench the spirit don't despise it the prophesy now i say prove all things prove all things what prove all things even me pastor philip even me if you fall into my jurisdiction my ministerial jurisdiction it does not mean that everything i say you just, just take it we heard the bible said concerning the Beria church the Berea church are people who after Paul has preached, they check whether those things that Paul has said, is it true? Yeah, you know Paul, how God was with Paul. But those people, the Bible said they are more honorable than the Salonica church. The Berea church. There are more or uh, the bible said they are more honorable excuse me the bible said they were more honorable than the thessalonica church that after paul has preached to them they open the word and see whether those things that has been preached to them were so okay 
So the Bible says, prove all things. I'm coming in. Okay, I will be reading it for you, but let's let's finish this one first. Uh. So the Bible says, "Prove all things, and hold fast that which is good." The Bible says, "Prove all things, and hold fast that which is good." Prove all things. Everything that somebody present to you, a man of God, a sister in the Lord, a brother in the Lord. An uncle or an auntie in the Lord and grandfather in the Lord. Some of you have them. A patriot in the Lord, whichever name they carry. Proof all things. This is Bible. Verse 19 of chapter 5 of 1 Thessalonians. Say, Proof all things. Proof all things. It's your right, your, your spiritual or Christian duty. To prove all things, whether this thing they are prophesying about, this thing they say God say is it in the word. I will not sit here and tell you that the time of revelation is passed away. Never. I will not tell you that prophesying is not God doesn't use people to prophesy. I prophesy. God gave me a revelation. Yeah, God can speak to people by dream. People can have hit vision through their dream. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is still on earth. So he will do he will use whoever you want to use, okay? But we have the right. After you have your dream, you come. After you have your vision and come. After you have your revelation and come. The Bible says we should prove all things. And you will not be angry because you don't call us devils because we want to prove all things. Now, when you prove all things, say now after you prove them. Another way is to judge, okay? After you prove them, hold fast that which is good. Hold fast that which is good. That which is good. Okay, thank you for having that. Now, Acts chapter 17. Yeah, Acts chapter 17. Um, let's take it from 10, 10 to 11. I'm giving these scriptures so that I'm not being, I will not be biased or I have something personal against somebody. And the people who give the revelation, I don't know them personally, but they are on YouTube. Yeah. But let's read Bible, okay? Um, I'm giving the reasons and the premises that Bible gives as a child of God to... You know, there are times people, because we fear judgment, and most of the people come with God's say. When someone say God's say, because we reverence God and we fear God, we don't want to do anything. And people just go like that. But there are avenues, there are windows... In God's word that you can sit on or stand in to question, uh, for lack of words, to question or to judge, rather, that's a good word, to judge the things the person is bringing. Yeah, to judge, you, you seek to understand. Because if you say God, then I must know and take action. Because he said, what I said to one, I said to all. That's God's word. He said, what I said to one, I said to all. So if you say God say, if you say God say, and God I reveal to you that tomorrow, 12 noon, the whole world will plunge into darkness, ah, we have to find out. We have to know. Now, they can say, okay, go and pray. God should talk to you. At this point, how many of you who can audibly hear God? How many of you? That when God is talking, you know. But at least 
we have the logos that's the written word of god that everybody can go to okay so in the book of Acts, chapter 17 the verse number 10 to 11 this is what happened the bible say and the brethren and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and sellers by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jew. The verse 11, listen to the verse 11. The Bible said these were more noble than those in Thessalonica, the Christians of Berea. They said they were noble. Look at the adjective. Look at the praise on them. They were noble. They, see, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Why were they more noble? The people in Thessalonica are also Christians. The people in Beria, in Beria are all also Christians. But there's something that this, uh, put a difference between them. There's a distinction when it comes to the two Christians. The people in Beria are more honorable than the people in Thessalonica. When the Bible says more honorable, it shows that the people in Thessalonica, they are also honorable, but these people have the higher one now. In that, they receive the word with all readiness of mind. There's nothing wrong when you hear God say, you jump, there's nothing wrong. And I've been saying that we who have the fear of God, we who don't want to offend God, when we hear God say, when we hear somebody come with a revelation, we want to tend to it. We want to tend to it. Why? Because you just want to be perfect. You want to make heaven. You don't want to offend your God. We understand that. So these people also have the readiness of mind when it comes to the word they hear. And search the scriptures daily. After they have the readiness of mind, and they go after the word they heard. Now, they are not only emotional. They are not only into, what do you call it? You know, church behavior. But after having the readiness of mind, they search the scriptures daily. Whether those things were so. The things they heard. The things has been preached to them. Because they are more honorable they search the scriptures daily they go over it they meditate whether those things they heard is it so i don't know whether you watch the video since you watch it does it concern you to check have you called somebody to a bible studies this thing where were they written why is it so where is that you cannot just be living your christian life in the hands of revelators and prophesying people no i'm not saying that god doesn't reveal things god do i'm not saying that prophecy does not exist he exists but look at the character of people of barrier look at the character now so let me play the video now okay Remember, remind me if I forget my reasons why I'm doing this. You know, most of the time, there are a lot of things a lot of people do. A lot of people show that we don't mind. But where we are now, let me give you one of the reasons. Where we are now, like the brother will say, tomorrow there will be darkness. If it happen, hallelujah now the brother will say tomorrow there will be darkness all over the world maybe i didn't hear him well that's why i'm playing it here now can you imagine it didn't happen and some of the christian women we know and what do you people call the holiness christians you know all christians should be holy now can you imagine it didn't happen then all the people who are not in faith honore get up please don't spoil my video mm -hmm. sit down 
It's not the time too small, I beg you. Now, I know you are tired. You will rest tired, you are for You will do this program and finish. Now, other people who are not in the faith, who are already looking to say something concerning Christianity, now they will have opportunity to now say, ah, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. And if you fold our hands and say, okay, I'm not the one God is talking to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, that someone say, okay, but I'm not there when God talks to him. Ah, I don't care. Yeah, you can say you don't care. But you see, it's dangerous if you're a lover of Christ. If like tomorrow there's no darkness. People were looking to say things about Christianity. People were looking to cast death on us. Now they'll be happy now. But I told you. I told you these people don't mind them and tomorrow maybe it should be you that God actually may be giving you a revelation God actually may be giving you uh, a word of prophecy but you can't because somebody went ahead of you me for me I think since last year I saw the video and of truth I'll be telling you some of the things that I know that is in the word of God, I will let you know. But for now, let me play it again, okay? So that we all listen. Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. I soon I'm coming, King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying, and he gave me a prophecy. Let's judge, let's judge the, the brother. He said the Lord has visited him. In the morning when he was praying the Lord has visited him that's what he said okay please at this point please uh, I'm not doing this thing against his person no this thing is saying if it's true then we have to prove it you have to check it and at this point I'm not doing anything against the his person the person I don't know him he doesn't know me too but he say the law. I'm also a child of God. You are a child of God. So let's pay attention. About the three days of darkness. Amen. Now, I know some people out there are scoffing, saying it's not real, it's not coming. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. Amen. Matter of fact, the Lord said in Matthew 24, 29, that before his return, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its now don't forget when he starts the first scripture he give is in Matthew 24 29 I know those words is there don't forget the Bible says we should prove all things and remember I told you that I'm not attacking the man of God his person I'm dealing with the message he came with I'm not insulting him, but I'm dealing with the message he came with because it concerns me, it concerns my family and the people I'm leading. I'm also a man of God. And this point I didn't say it's lying, but those who have ears should hear. Now, the first scripture he gave, Matthew 24, 29. So I'm going back and we come to Matthew 24, 29. Okay. Let's start again. Shalom, my dearly beloved. I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I soon am coming, King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying, and he gave me a prophecy about the three days of darkness. Amen. Now, I know some people out there are scoffing, saying it's not real, it's not coming. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. Amen. Matter of fact, the Lord said in Matthew 24, 29, that before... Now, me, I'm judging his words. 
He say he know that there are some people there that he say they say it's not coming. So as a matter of fact, in Matthew 24, 29. So we will be reading it soon. For his return, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give his light. So there's no point running around shouting, Jesus is coming back. Everyone's having rapture dreams. Jesus is coming back. I will not look at the signs that he said that would happen prior to his return. I'll now, there's another thing here, which for me, I agree with him. And by also open a lot of um, questions for her to be careful. Now, he said that there are signs, there are things that should happen before a rapture can happen. But a lot of people are having dreams saying rapture, rapture, rapture. You see now. So what is happening? Don't forget one of the great signs of the end time which we are in is deception is deception is what deception now for you to be deceived it's not something too obvious that somebody will use for you to deceive and even the some of the people that will deceive you they don't know they are deceiving you for the bible said they are they were deceived to deceive some of them they don't even know that they are deceiving you they were deceived to deceive now let's read matthew 24 and 29 that he has given he said as a matter of fact matthew 24 29 we are proving the things okay Matthew 24 29 are you there Matthew 24 29 let's go the Bible say immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Now the first word there is immediately after the tribulation of these days. Now, the tribulation, are we already in it? Is it over now? What is written here, it say immediately, thank you Jackie, it say immediately after the tribulation, of those days shall the sun be darkened immediately after tonight i'm in liberia doing this life there's no tribulation yet i don't know why you are there's tribulation already i'm Taking him by his own words. Okay. Can I go ahead? Please. I want a lot of love so that nobody uh, do anything with the video. Click on the love, love, a lot of love. So that they will know. Last time you do a video like that, they just block it before they open it up. So, he said, as a matter of fact, Matthew 24, 29. But Matthew 24, 29 said, after the tribulation of those days. The tribulation has not fully started and to be after. Okay, let's go. Shalom, my dearly beloved. I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying and he gave me a prophecy about the three days of darkness. Amen. Now, I know some people out there are scoffing, saying it's not real, it's not coming. Brothers and sisters, it is coming. Amen. 
Matter of fact, the Lord said in Matthew 24, 29, that before his return, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give his light. So there's no point running around shouting, Jesus is coming back. Everyone's having rapture dreams. Jesus is coming back. I will not look at the signs that he said that would happen prior to his return. And one of those signs that he said was that the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give us light. Amen. The Lord spoke of this darkness. Amen. But before I go into the prophecy, I just want to give a little backstory for those who are not aware of the three days of darkness or for the brothers and sisters to understand how is it that I came to be in the knowing and the revelation of the three days of darkness. So first of all, I heard a sister Carrie Ann Gidden, a prophetess from the Lord, declared that the Lord given her a vision that she saw three days of darkness. In her dream, she took from it that you was not meant to be outside in the darkness, there will be demonic activity and you must be inside and close your windows and cover them. The Lord then revealed to her another vision about the freedoms of darkness, where he revealed to her that it will be in April. He wasn't specific what year or what April, but he made it clear it will be April and it will begin around 10.30 and it begun to sweep over the land, the whole world. Now the Bible says it will happen at 12 noon. Amen. So if it starts at 10.30 and begin to slowly sweep, then maybe around noon the whole world would be in darkness. Midday. Amen. The Lord then later revealed to her again. Now, when they say noon, we know that we all also don't have the same time. Right? Maybe I didn't understand him well. But we are proving all things. When they say noon, like 12, noon day, if it's 12 in Liberia, it will not be 12 in America or Australia. So, I don't know. Now, there's one side also is said that the window, the window side will come vis a vis demons outside okay let's go on that on the 7th of this april month it will still be dark now Amen. now it's talking about this april month this one okay at the 7th on 7 30 it will still be dark so i was going to the lord and i was saying lord you know like you're giving her a lot of revelations about this, this three days of darkness, like as if it's soon. You know, I need you to speak more to me. So the Lord gave me a vision of my own. Not the same night that I prayed afterwards. And I too had the three days of darkness. And in my three days of darkness... Now here, it said the Lord gave him a vision of his own. What who? What will we call this man if tomorrow no darkness take place? Um, that's why we are doing these things. Uh -huh. Not for me, not to their person, but for the image of Christianity and people who want to serve God well. Okay? And for your information, 2021 is not the first time people are saying that darkness will happen. Because when you do the research, you go on YouTube now, even the Roman Catholics has been prophesying three days of darkness. You can do that right now. If you go on YouTube, even the Roman Catholics, they have some of their women, some of their priests, they even do that. But we will get there as the Lord leads us. He said the Lord spoke to, to her. She also, he also got his own. But we find out as they talk, we know how God talked to them. How did they receive the revelation? People went outside and they died. The demon activity out there was plenty. Now, I was away from my family, so I wanted to travel through the darkness to get to 
them because my thought was, oh, I'm anointed man of God. I'm God's chosen servant. I can go through the darkness. I'll be fine. I couldn't survive it. I had to run back inside quickly. I was being, it was too much. You're not meant to be in the darkness. Amen. And so more time had gone by and I felt in my urgency, in my spirit, like, seek the Lord on this thing. It is coming. It is coming soon. So I went to bed one night before I went to sleep. I was praying to the Lord about it. And as I lay down to sleep, I was talking to the Lord in my mind about it. And when I woke up in the morning, I saw a notification on my phone that a sister Kate from Africa somewhere, the Lord revealed to her the feeders of darkness and he told her it would be on a Sunday. So now the Lord had revealed the month is April. He's now revealed that it will be on a Sunday. And he's also revealed that on the 7th, it will still be dark. So the Lord led me then to research what Sunday, three days later, will still be dark on the 7th. 2021 is the only... Now, so there was another sister called Kate, another Karen, a Karen or Karen. Um, you forgive me the way I mentioned their name. Who also said it. So he now, somebody have sent him a video of the one from Africa. So he said now the Lord led him to research. So, but the woman there, she said Sunday. I didn't hear her. Honestly, I'm, I'm saying what the man is saying. The woman says Sunday. So he went to do research. For now, let's follow. Yeah, Pastor Gabriel, God bless you too. God is not an author of confession. Yeah. 2022, 2023, 2024, that will make the three days of darkness five days long, six days long. The Bible says it's three days long. So the Lord had now confirmed to me that it has to be this year. So I was praying about it and I'm like, Lord, you know I'm on here sharing your word. I will not be held accountable for sharing anything that is wrong. I will not be one of those people that lead your people astray and give them false messages. I have to be sure that you have to confirm it. The Lord, not only did he confirm it to me, but he also visited me and he explained to me why he's doing it. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I'm about to give you the prophecy that the Lord has given me. He's also given me a few scriptures also. I will also share these scriptures. But please, brothers and sisters, whether you cover your windows with paint, I've personally used bin bags and duct tape. I've already covered my windows. It's only a week away. Brothers and sisters, do not go outside. If you hear a voice that sounds like someone you know, do not even open the door. It's a demon imitating the person's voice because no one will survive in the darkness. Amen? So, without going into too much, let me just get straight into the prophecy right now. Now, listen. They said uh, you should seal your windows. Uh, I think uh, the other one also, uh, I heard, he didn't go into detail about the window thing, but he said already he have sealed his window. Now, why are they sealing the window? So that demons don't enter. Question. Questions. Sealing your windows, does it prevent demons to enter a room? Or is the blood of Jesus all your righteousness? The Bible says we should prove all things. I told you that I'm not into against the person talking. I'm talking about the word because I'm also a Christian. I'm also a Christian. Okay? And I'm not be here. I'll say, oh, I know everything. I don't know everything. But please. And these are the things we see a lot of Christians run after. We run after. And we have every right to ask questions. But it's not before us physically, but we have these audios. Now, they say, now, make sure you close your window. And people solely taping the window. God bless you, Mama Kesi. Amen. 
they should solely take the window so that demons will not enter. Now, what prevented demon to enter a room? Is it solitude? What prevented demon to enter a room? Is it how tight you close the door? Or how firm the windows have been closed? Is that what, that which prevent a demon to invade a house, a, a room? When it happened in Egypt, when death was in town, were they, were they using solid tape to cover their window so that a demon would not enter? If I ask these questions, I'm not against God. We want to know because the things that rebuke the devil, we know it. The Bible says, by the mention of the name Jesus, every knee bow. You see, so there are questions to ask. So if you all keep quiet, for instance, and tomorrow nothing happened. If tomorrow something happened, uh, we want to know why. We want to know. Maybe I'll come back to you and tell you that uh, I don't understand. But for now, I'm doing my work as a child of God. Not only a child of God, but I'm also a man of God, not in in pride or competition or something. But we have to ask questions. Do we close windows? When you close window tight, is that that which make a demon want to invade your privacy? Or the blood of Jesus? Shalom, my dearly beloved. I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's now revealed that it will be on a Sunday. And it's also revealed that on the 7th, it will still be dark. So the Lord led me then to research what Sunday, three days later, will still be dark on the 7th. 2021 is the only year. 2022, 2023, 2024, that will make the three days of darkness five days long, six days long. The Bible says three days long. So, the Lord so he, what he's talking about now is a research he went to do. But of course, he said God led him. So the Lord can also lead you to do research. I will not fight that. But it's a research. Now, when you hear them, most of them, how did they receive their vision? Dream. Of course, you can have a dream. God, through the dream, you know, visions can come through dreams also. So we will not fight that. But as the thing concerns the body of Christ, we have to question it respectfully. And now confirmed to me that it has to be this year. So I was praying about it and I'm like, Lord, you know I'm on here sharing your word. I will not be held accountable for sharing anything that is wrong. I will not be one of those people that lead your people astray and give them false messages. I have to be sure that you have to confirm it. The Lord, not only did he confirm it to me, but he also visited me and he explained to me why he's doing it. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I'm about to give you the prophecies that the Lord has given me. He's also given me a few scriptures also. I will also share these scriptures. But please, brothers and sisters, whether you cover your windows with paint, I've personally used bin bags and duct tape. I've already covered my windows. It's only a week away. Brothers and sisters, do not go outside. If you hear a voice that sounds like someone you know, do not even open the door. It's a demon imitating the person's voice because no one will survive in the darkness. Amen? So, without going into too much, let me just get straight into the prophecy right now. So, and this is the Lord speaking. Amen? This isn't my words. Amen? And the Lord said... Now, now you have to get this thing. Remember, uh, yeah, demons are spirit, of course. <laughs> you know, you don't tape or solid tape your window for a demon not to enter your room. It's the life in the room that sucked that demon out. It's the blood of Jesus, it's the name of Jesus. Now, be careful to say, oh, this is God because the person is crying. Be careful, you know, 
some of us we take emotion to say okay god is in it that's our problem and now remember one of the sign of the end time is called deception 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 matthew 24 verse 4 matthew 24 verse 4 now, Matthew 24, verse 4, Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Why did he say that? The verse 1 said, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. The verse 2, Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I said unto you, They shall not be left here one stone upon the other that shall not be thrown down now the verse 3 now they said and as he sat upon the mountain of olives the disciple came on unto him privately saying tell us when shall this thing be you see most of us the reason why we are deceived because normally naturally human beings we want to know what will happen tomorrow we want to know what is in tomorrow. We have this um, this thing to know. You want to know what will happen. Everybody wants to know. How will it happen? They say, tell us what this thing will be. Tell us when shall this thing be. And what shall be the sign of that coming and the end of the world. Instead of Jesus answering their question, he said, take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. Most of you, you will not be deceived by a malam, by a juju person. You will be deceived right by the word of God. Be careful. Shalom, my dearly beloved. I greet you in the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, this message is about the three days of darkness. The Lord had visited me in the morning whilst I was praying. Grateful, complaining after all I had done for... Now... The things that he wrote that God told him, if you listen to it, these things are in point. I will not be biased. After he said the dream, all that thing, now he's reading what he said God told him. And if you look, listen to those things, God can talk like that. Okay, let's go. I have had enough of this sinful generation. They tarnish my name. They walk all over my precious royal blood and make a mockery of my sacrifice on Calvary. They disregard my love, my mercy, my grace, and my patience. Now they will see I'm also a God of wrath. Did I not open up the ground and swallow up all who stood against Moses because of their ungrateful complaining after all I had done for them? Did I not send darkness over the land and kill the children of Egypt because of Pharaoh's disobedience to let my people go? Did I not say in my word that I caused the sun to shine on the just and the unjust? Once again, I am forced to display my wrath on those who say they know me but foolishly continue in their sins and who reject and pridefully boast they have no need of me. Whilst weeping, I said, Lord, is this what you want me to say? He said, yes, my son. As my word says, I chastise who I love. After this event, there will be a small window left to repent. Then, just like the days of Noah, I will shut the door of the ark. The door of my grace will be closed. Choose now whether you want to be in the arms of my safety or outside in the flood and destruction and death. Brothers and sisters, I'm shaking right now as I'm reading this message because I remember the Lord's presence. He wasn't happy. I had a vision of him. He just had fire in his eyes. He was just standing there with fire in his eyes. I just know that the Lord didn't, he didn't want to do it. He's 
like he was saying in my spirit, like, I don't even want to do this. But my children are not listening to me. They're not listening to me. I remember the first time that I punished my daughter for being naughty. I went to the other room and I cried. I didn't even, I didn't even want to punish her. I cried. And the Lord is just weeping because he doesn't want to do this. But if he doesn't do it, if the children of Israel, God's people are not going to wake up. You see what he's saying? He said the Lord, even the Lord doesn't want to do it. So the question is, what is it for? See, God does not do things for just doing them. We know that in the scripture in Matthew 24, 29, we have it there. But is that at the time? The Bible says immediately after the tribulation of those days. So when you go to Revelation chapter 6, 12, Revelation chapter 8, 12, talking about the sixth seal, you know, you see the sun going dark, those things there. So we are just proving what are the things. Sisters, please is God share this message. Please share this message. Because the three days of darkness will be on the 4th of April 2021. Did you hear that? I believe today is the 27th of March. That's literally leaving eight days. Eight days remaining. So we are already. Cover your windows. On the Store day. up on three days. Food. It's happening today. Buy candles, or may the grace of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, will give you light. Prepare, 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 repent, fast and pray. Repent, fast and pray. Repent, fast and pray. The Lord doesn't want to do this. And then He gave me these scriptures. And I realized afterwards the scriptures basically told us basically what he Now listen, anything that is written in the Bible, that is God's word. The Lord will not say you don't want to do it. Hmm? Anything that is God's word, you know the end from the beginning. <laughs> the Lord is not surprised by your behavior or your sin. You know the end from the beginning. We are just proving the revelation he brought to us. Anything that is written, the law will not say, I don't want to do it. Revelation chapter 6, 12. 6, 12. Revelation 6, 12. Look at what is there. Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. Okay, Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. He said, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And this thing will be done uh, in the tribulation or after the tribulation. As time to be corrected. I beheld and when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. These are things in the scripture. Revelation chapter 8, verse 12. Another place, the fourth angel. Revelation chapter 8, verse 12. Revelation 8, 12. He said, And the fourth angel sound, sounded. And the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the star. So at the third part of them was dark, and the day shone not or shine not, and the third part of it and the night are like likewise. Now these are things we see in God's word that will happen. I understand some of you are going to market to buy this to buy to buy that you know? the of god is revealed from heaven against 
against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who has the truth in unrighteousness. Romans chapter 2, verse 5. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treacherous up only unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Numbers, Numbers 16, 32. That is giving scriptures concerning this thing. Now, he used a word, he said, um, the Lord wants to do it to wake up people. And the truth is that the church is sleeping. And that's the truth. Um, we can't fight him over that. All of us, we know that the church is sleeping. As for us pastors. Um, so I'm not here to attack him as a person. But we have every right to prove um, that thing he's saying. Yes, it's in the word of God. What is the spiritual calendar for it to happen as a Christian? Now, if you say the Lord doesn't want to do it, anything that is written, it will happen. Now, if it's a judgment, as long as it's written in the Bible, it can be canceled now. The Lord can be can prolong it a way of happening. Now, the Bible said the patience of God is for repentance. It doesn't mean that, you see, that's how you judge the, the, the word of God. The patience of God is for repentance. It's not that, like, I'm judging him by what he's saying. That even the Lord doesn't want to do it. Even the, the Lord doesn't want to do it. He said, my word I exalt above myself. I told you before that God has emotions, but God is not emotional. And some of you, you receive a vision, a dream, because of the person is crying, because the person is, you know, you don't judge dream because of you know the person or whatever. You judge them by the Spirit of God and the written Word of God. And the Spirit of God will give illumination and understanding to judge it. You see? Of course, the church is sleeping. Of course, sin is increasing. The Bible says in Matthew 24, it says, Because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold, shall wash cold. And we are saying it, a lot of sin is increasing. Now, let me show you some things that um, happen in the Bible. Revelation chapter 9. In regard to the Lord want to do it for people to repent. Look at the Bible. Uh, what will I read you from? Now, when you read Revelation chapter 9, Revelation chapter 9 spoke about how there was a, um, some, some scorpion were out and they have the, the form of a horse and they have the face of a man, they have the tail as a snake, a lot of things. And these people were harming human beings. These are the days that people wish to die and they were not able to die. But the Bible was careful to write unto us. Write to us. Let me take it from 18 to 21. It said, they, For their power is in their mouth. These are the things that will happen, okay? Now, if you are talking about darkness, there are things in Revelation chapter 9. Also speaking, if you think, okay, if it happens, people will repent. You will see it. And, um, okay, let me take it from 18. But this tree was the third part of men killed, and by the fire, and the smoke, and the branch beam stone which issue out of their mouth. For their power is in their mouth and in their tail. And for their tail were like unto serpent. And had head, and with them they do hurt. Now these are things that will happen. Now, thinking of this thing happening, this torture on women being, 
the verse 20 of the chapter 9 here. And the rest of men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not. The rest of the men who were not killed by the plagues, by the torture, the Bible said they repented not. So if it's okay, the three days, the three nights, is for them to repent. The Bible wrote other happiness here. And say when it happened, people repent not. Okay. They repent not of their works, of their hand, and they should not worship the devil or adore of gold, of silver, of bra, of stone, of wood, which neither can see or hear nor walk. The verse 21 now. It says, Neither repented they of their med medrace, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thieves. You see, if you say, okay, when it happened, you'll be shocked. I'm dealing with what was written here. Now, coming back to dreams. Is it every dream that you have that the Lord has spoken to you? You yourself you should judge your dreams. Hmm? Now, Revelation chapter 16, verse 9 also. And men were scourged with great heat and blasphemed the name of God. There were things that would happen, people. Let's make heaven, you know, let's make heaven. Men were scorched with a great heat and blasphemed, blasphemed the name of God, which has power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. They repented not to give the Lord glory. Let me go down to 11. And the fifth angel poured out is vile upon the sea and the beast and the kingdom was full of darkness and they nursed their tongue for pain and blasphemed the god of heaven because of their pain and their soul and repented not of their deeds you see is the holy spirit that convicts a person I pray that you that is hearing this thing, I'm not just here to say, oh no, they are lying. They are so so and so. No. I'm here to just come with all the wisdom God can give me to let you that is out there, that you are just crossing your fingers, that I'm trying, by the time tomorrow nothing happened, and you just on your Facebook and just be talking against the church, talking against men of God, talking against holiness and righteousness these are those people i'm thinking and some of you are still babes children in the lord you know children in the law you know some of you when it happens like that you don't know what to believe you know what is happening what is happening please the word the truth is that Sin is too much in the world. And these are things Bible have said. Jesus didn't have anything from us. These are things the Bible have said that in the last days, men shall be lovers of their self. Bible said it. Bible said it. If there's something we must do now, do evangelism, forgive people their sin, for God to forgive you your sins, you know, win souls. Enough of denominations, you know, enough of denominations. Yeah, it's in the word of God. Darkness will happen, but is that the time for the darkness to happen? Now, and now that a day has been fixed, it's the 4th of April. If today, 12th, there's no darkness. And some of you, you start running to market to buy a solid tip, to buy this, to buy that. Demons are spirit. 
if you like take a super glue take a glue and glue all your windows your doors they don't need a key to open they don't need a key they can enter the only thing that can drag them out is the blood of jesus somebody shout the blood of jesus say lord i plead the blood over me i plead the blood over my family i plead the blood over my house the blood the blood of jesus when it happened you know when it happened in egypt when it happened in egypt what saved the people Yeah, yeah, Christiana. Yeah, that's it. He said, tell me about this man of God because most of them are just waiting for tomorrow to pass, to start lambasting Christians if they don't see darkness. So, sir, yeah. So, whatever you are now, of course, there will be happiness. The things, things will happen, you know. We are in perilous time. Now, I will advise you, like, if you have money, you can do provision, not because there will be a darkness. Even with the corona system, things are happening. Serious things are happening. If you have money now, me, I will advise If you have money, it's not the best thing to put in the bank. That is, I didn't say God says so. That is for me. You know? And... The things who are happening is you can I will advise you for you to uh, what do you call it um, you can do provisions and put you get food down you never know what will happen but not necessarily because they say three nights or something and because of demon because I me mean, these are the one two three thing that make me that what is happening you are not solely taping your windows for demons not to enter. Demons are spirit. They can enter if they want to enter. Yes. They are spirit. They can enter if they want to enter. But it takes the blood to suck them away. And your righteousness. Your righteousness. Some of you don't have the prayer life. You are still a liar. You are running to a market to buy a solid tape to close a window. You are still living in lie, living in double standard that you are an hypocrite. You know, you are ugly in your speaking. A lot of things are not correct with you when it comes to Christian standard. But you just hear a revelation because of demons. What is it written in the Bible that when you solitude your whatever, demons will not come? Now, when I went to look deep into it i realized that the roman catholic um there's a brother who make a video of them the roman catholic baby this thing has been old you know every year or mostly every year people will say well there'll be this there'll be this there'll be this there'll be this uh, some of them i couldn't have chance because i was busy i had to go here and there so i didn't hear anybody put a date if somebody have done that i don't know but like the brother here said tomorrow or today, 4th April. But do you know what the Roman Catholics said? One of their video somebody put is that they told them that the darkness will come. Of course, they should be in their room. They should close everything. And they told them they should get their, uh, you know, they have water. Uh, those water, they should get their water and get that thing they count on their finger, you know. Is that what suck a demon? Is that what suck a demon? Is that what the Bible tell us that when we read, uh, we count a rosary? Does it suck a demon? Is that what the Bible say? Now, Second Timothy chapter three verse one. Second Timothy three one. This know also that in the last day, perilous time shall come. That is true. You see, Jesus didn't hide anything from us. He said, this know also that in the last day, perilous time, 
will come. Hardship will come. So if you are here now, you have money, you want to do provision for food. That's wisdom. You have no... It's not because you are afraid of darkness or something. Because the storm market can change. Knowing what is happening in our day now concerning Corona and the vaccines, we know what is happening now. A lot of things can change. So if you are wise, you have money. You do some provision and you get some money. You farm. Uh -huh. You get opportunity. You do your own personal farming. Grow your own food. Because of the time we are in. So if they say do provision, they say now I'll tell you that please do it. But not necessary because of this vision. Now, in the last day, a perilous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their self, of their own self. These are the sign of the end time. People will love their self, covetous, boastful, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, untamful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despise of those that are good traitors and, and it go on it go on it go on in the verse 5 say having the form of godliness but deny the power thereof you see here 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 the verse 5 first timothy chapter 3 verse 5 you see having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof you see for such turn away for such Turn away the verse 5 of, of uh, 2 Timothy 3. 2 Timothy 3 verse 5. It says, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. It says, for such, turn away. I don't know whether you understand to turn away. Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. It says, for such, turn away. How would... A holiness brother sister or a true christian be deceived you will be deceived by the very word of god you know what the devil does is that they take truth and lie and join anything that is good and bad is still bad hear me anything that is good and it's also bad it's got to bad if it's good it must be good good so how did the devil get you? He get you by the truth. You are deceived by the very truth, you know. So how to be out of this thing? Patient. Be observant. Don't be argumentative. Don't go after people, fighting them. When you hear the word, compare with the scriptures or pray. And the reason why I'm calling you to the word of God is that how many of you who truly pray and when God talk you here? How many of you? Or how many of us that say, okay, I heard God over this issue? How many of us? Yes, how many of us? How many of us? So that's why I go back to the word of God. The Bible says this word of the Lord must not depart from you. You must meditate upon it day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Yes, it was in the word of God, but in the calendar of God, is that the time? Is that the time? Is that the time? Now, even if it's the time, giving date, you know, some years ago, some people say well, rapture will happen these days. Some say the world will end this date. They were bold about it. You don't take the boldness of a revelator, of a prophet to make whatever they are saying true. It's the spirit of God in it. When you compare with the word of God, does it go? That's why we change the word of God. I don't know, may the Lord have mercy on us. Truly, you have to repent. You have to repent. We have to repent. You have to repent. 
look at the strife, look at the division. Everybody is in a corner, you know, you know. We have to repent, and that's the truth. Some of you are just a gossiper. You hear here and carry the carry that to another side. You have defunded brothers and sisters. You have the spirit of confusion. You are an enemy of family. You are an enemy of uh, kononia. You are an enemy. You don't like to see children of God together. You defy them. You defy them by your character. Now look at the verses. Say for of this sort are they which creep into houses. Those who creep into houses and lead captive silly women. They lead captive silly women laden with sin lead away with diverse lands. They take captives silly women say the bible i don't know now someone wrote here that they say they shouldn't wear a flower dress i don't know what is happening i don't know what is happening you know i know in the bible we have the belt of truths of course if the belt you are wearing is worldly why what uh, the truth is that some of the things christians wear uh -huh, is too loud the modesty that the bible talk about a lot of people are not respecting it but it's not because of that we will exaggerate and people who come with revelations they must they must know that they are not god you come with god's word we must pray about it and you must pray for us to understand it. And if truly it is of God, the word of God will not be against it. And one of the easiest ways to check a revelation, you put the revelation into the word of God. If you put the revelation, you compare it with the word of God and there are things in the word of God that stand against it, then you rather take the word of God and leave that revelation. But don't forget, as I said, we are in the last day. But to be out of this place, to be out of this place, is to pray and ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Because what is ahead of us, people, it will be tougher than this one. To the sense that people know truth. If you are not careful, all the truth you know, you pull it away. Let your ground be firm. Let your ground be firm. Hmm? Let your ground be firm. The Bible says, Have it done all to stand. Therefore, stand. Honore. Honor. Honore is called Honore. Call. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Have it done all to stand the first time. Stand and some of you are tossed are run by every wind of doctrine. You are being tossed around by every wind of doctrine. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. We have to be careful. Be single in your mind. Be be humble. You know, let's all repent. Uh, all this thing. If you are somebody who loves sin, you are anyhow, you fall into a lot of errors. The problem is that sin is even in the church. Sin is even with Christians. So you sort of been there or there'll be three days night of this and whatever. We don't fight about that. But let's be ready, whatever happened. And the, the truth is that the eye of the Lord is upon the righteous. That's the truth. The eye of the Lord is upon the righteous. 
and the Lord will save the righteous. The Lord will preserve the righteous. The Bible says, go and tell the righteous that it shall be well with them. The Bible says, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people. For greater is he that lives in us than he that lives in the world. Greater is he that lives in you. The Lord is my Lord and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? We are not the children of darkness. We are the children of light. But because of sin, because of sin, and because of sin, some of you, you panic. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but that of boldness, that the righteous shall be bold like a lion. The righteous shall be bold like a lion. That's the word of God. Now, ask yourself, are you acting out of fear or out of faith? Now, ask yourself, are you acting out of fear or out of faith? And some of you don't even understand what they are saying. You just go to market, buy candle, buy this. If you want to have those things from the, for the house, because of what we are living, even in America, I don't know which state now, some time ago, or I think this year, they were not having lights. So if you want to have things to the fine, because we are living in the end time, so you can't do that. But when somebody has given a particular day, that tomorrow, you know, if you say you have a vision, but by the time you say God tell you, and you want to compare with the word of God, people would like to check the word of God. Now, it's not about what you say that came to pass that make us receive something. But we are looking at children of God, some of them who are not matured. Now, today, how many Christians today that if a man of God fell, it doesn't affect them? Then all of us must grow beyond men, grow beyond your pastors. We don't pray that evil happen to them, but grow beyond that. And some of you, you don't do it. So somebody said, do it. You are all down because somebody is down. When will you have a personal relationship with the Lord yourself? When are you going to have a personal relationship with the Lord? The demons are around. They are around, but no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 says, he said, with that faith, no one can please the Lord. With that faith, no one can please the Lord. With that faith, no one can please the Lord. With that faith, no one can please the Lord. Anybody that wants to live a holy life, make sure that the Holy Spirit is with you. You can't live a holy life without the Holy Spirit. You can't live the holy life without having faith. Jesus said, take heed that no one deceive you. I came here because of if tomorrow it doesn't happen. But we are already in tomorrow here. That's a question, man. And it's not only today. Check check the years. If you go on YouTube now, you talk about three days night of darkness on earth. Revelation over there. There are a lot of them. Even to the Roman Catholics. A lot of them. And if you don't know what they are it's so scary. But nobody wants to die. But we don't want to live well. The Bible says it's appointed unto a man to die once after that judgment. Death is an appointment. Everybody will go. One day you will live here. They, your grand grandparents, they were living here. Where are they now? Where are they now? So the conclusion of my message is what? Let's clean ourselves. Let's purge ourselves. You see? Let's purge ourselves. A lot of you sort of looking for uh, a solid tip, a plaster to, to solid tip your window. If you solid tip your mouth, it will be better because your mouth is causing trouble. Your tongue is causing trouble. Some of you, if you solid tip your ear for the things you'll be hearing and those things are defiling. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. 
Father God, we pray, committing our mind, committing our heart to you. Lord, help us, sweet Holy Spirit, lead us, O oh God, lead us, O oh God, lead us in all truth in the name of Jesus. Father, you said we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free in the name of Jesus. Any darkness on our brain, any darkness on our heart, Lord, we clear it away for your truth to resident in us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, deliver us from the spirit of deception. We deliver us from this cancer called deception that is taking everybody in the name of Jesus Lord we come against any demon that has been released to deceive people to deceive people to deceive people in the name of Jesus any demon that has been released to deceive people in the name of Jesus we rebuke them in the name of Jesus we rebuke them in the name of Jesus now read Revelation chapter 16. Revelation chapter 16. God bless you. I'm tired myself. God have mercy on me. Revelation chapter 16. The verse number 12 to 13. Revelation chapter 16. Please, you have to pardon with me. I have some soldiers here. They are snoring. I hope you do the same also. How will you know when you sleep? Revelation chapter 16, the verse number 12. Down. Now, and the sixth angel pour out his vow upon the great river Ephratite. And the water thereof was dry up that the way of the kings of the east may may be prepared and the verse 13 will interest you are you there now the verse 13 i saw that i saw three unclean spirit like frogs i saw three unclean spirit like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon that's satan and out of the mouth of the beast, that's the Antichrist. And out of the mouth of the first prophet, the verse 14. The verse 14 says, For they are the spirit of devils. The spirit of devil working miracles, which go forth unto the king of the earth. And of all the whole world to gather them into battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch. Are you watching? He said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch. He said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Be watchful. Jesus said, Take heed that no one deceive you. Oh, when you pray, pray for me. Uh, this video is not to make me an argumentative person, but I just came with all the opportunity that I have. To say, please, whether darkness or not, we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, um, this this is this this non the worship of men should go down. May the Lord help us. But prepare yourself, prepare yourself, prepare yourself, prepare yourself, prepare yourself. If there's a restitution to make, make it now. If there's something to change, change now. If there's something to do, do it now. If God has sent you, don't procrastinate. Don't put it on tomorrow. Do it now. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Let's prepare ourselves. Okay. May the Lord bless you. May the peace of God be with you. In Jesus' mighty name. I don't know whether anybody has a question there. I don't know. Anybody there, you have a question. If there's no question, I want to close now. Um, it's for you to... 
use this video to whatever you want to do with it but i've tried i've tried and remember i'm not against the person of whoever said this and that but since they say god say we have to see with the word of god and be careful be careful not to use somebody's life to make it your relationship with god you don't stop serving god because somebody is making an error you don't stop serving god because somebody have deceived himself or herself hmm? We pray all of us we have made some errors before in the Lord. But we pray that everybody come to the knowledge of the saving Christ. Okay. And if you have a revelation, we got to check it. We will pray about it. We compare it with the scriptures. And whoever have a revelation, and you don't want us to check with scriptures, that's pride. And pride is not godly. So it shows that you don't truly receive the thing from the Lord. If you receive from the Lord, whatever God says is yea and amen. If God said this will happen, there's no man who can stop it. Yeah, there's no man who can stop it. But some of you are in fear. Please jump back to faith. Jump back to faith. And that's the truth. And for your information, uh, greater than Ebola, uh, Corona is coming. So just be ready. Be selfless and be led by the Spirit. The Bible says, uh, live in the Spirit so that you don't fulfill the deeds of the flesh. This is the time to be spiritual. This is the time to be in the Spirit. This is the time to be led by the Spirit. Bear the fruit of the Spirit mostly. Bear the fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this short time. I thank you for the word that has been shared. Lord, we pray for your mercy. If you have used any word that is inappropriate concerning the things we discuss, we pray for mercy and we pray the blood over us. Lord, in the name of Jesus, for anyone that is discouraged, anyone that is confused, perplexed because of their revelations, Lord, we pray that let your spirit meet them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we said there shall be a way and that way shall be a way of holiness. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us to walk the narrow way as we ought to do. In the name of Jesus, I commit everybody here, your emotion, your brain, your senses, your heart unto God, that the enemy will not have advantage over our emotion to rad us into error. In the spirit of error, we rebuke it by the blood. In the name of Jesus. In the spirit of error, in the kingdom, we rebuke by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we refuse to fall prey to the enemy by deception, by whatsoever. Lord, help us not to stand against your word. Help us not to lack of running in time and in tempo. Lord, in the name of Jesus, if there's something that has to be done with time, help us to be faithful in the name of Jesus. Give us the desire and the, and the power to go back to prayer and to go back to the word of God. For Lord, I know that many Christians don't read their Bible and some who read it, they don't understand. God, give us understanding. We want to comprehend and apprehend the things of God. Help us, sweet Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for that man that is sick now. Receive your healing. That woman that is in pain. May the Lord heal you now. 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 In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. I pray that let that pain disappear. Let that headache disappear. That blood sickness, let it go. That blind eye open now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that sickness is in the name of Jesus, be healed. Whatever you were not able to do before, do it now in the name of Jesus. For you are healed heal in the name of Jesus. For Jesus on the cross, he, he, he was sick for her to be healed. I command every spirit of infirmity to disappear from that room, to disappear from our bodies in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare you heal. Sweet Holy Spirit, I pray that there's no distance in the spirit. The one that have body pain, the one that have any disease or infirmity, whatever the name is, I declare them healing Jesus' name. 
I declare them heal in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray committing our pregnant women, women who are pregnant in the whole world, committing them unto you, that let your grace abound on them. In the name of Jesus, preserve them and the baby with them. We pray for children all over the world, that the pollution in the world, Lord, keep the children, keep our children, keep our children, keep our children, keep our children. We dip them into the blood, that let the altar of witchcraft be crushing in the name of Jesus. Let the altar of witchcraft be crushed in the name of Jesus. Let it be crushed in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that had jack families, had jack nations, had jack communities for the devil, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. Any spirit of darkness that wants to take over the world for the will of the devil to be established, receive the blood of Jesus now. 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 We break the altars. We break the altars. We break the altars. We break the altars. Anybody that you are here, that the enemy come through your dream to 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 uh, to defile you in the name of Jesus. Anything, any door that is open to your soul for manipulation, let the door be sealed in the name of Jesus. Let the door be sealed in the name of Jesus. Let the door be sealed in the name of Jesus. Let the door be sealed in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord, I pray. I pray for that man, that woman that was so discouraged, so down. Be empowered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be empowered. In the name of Jesus. Be empowered. In the name of Jesus. Satan, lose your hope. Satan, lose your hope. Lose your hope over the children of God. I pray that every discouragement should disappear in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, people. Let the peace of God be with you. Let the power of God be with you. Remember me in prayer. We are still in mission in Liberia, Moravia. Remember us in prayer. Remember us in prayer. Go and correct your life. Go and love. Go and forgive. Go and share. And remember wisdom. There were ten virgins, five were foolish, five were wise. The wise enter. We are all Christians, but don't see somebody's life to use it on you. Have a personal relationship with Christ. Have a personal relationship with Christ. Have a personal relationship with Christ. Run with the people who are running. Run with the people who are sanctified themselves. Run with the people who are truthful and love the family of Christ. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless you. May the peace of God be with you. Maranatha, God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Amen. Remember to pray for me. That's what I said. You can do it now. Remember to pray for Pastor Philip. Pray for my families also. Pray for the work we do. Remember to pray for us, okay? God bless you, Sister Vina, Sister Christiana. God bless you. Sister Jackie, God bless you, Mama Gloria. God bless you. Uh, whoever you are, you are online. Hey, Sister Dali, how are you? God bless you also. Uh, Edith Elam Lamte, God bless you also. Amen, 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 amen. All of us, God bless us. Remember to keep me in prayer. I need your prayer. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Pray for us. And remember also to always plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. I beg you. Shown sin. Shown sin. So that whatever will happen, whether earthquake, whether volcano, whatever will happen, so that you can be in the good place. Please, God is not wicked. It's our sins that make him blunt over us. Please, repent. Love your wife, husband. Love your wife. Wife, love your husband, submit. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Now that you marry, sacrifice your right so that there's peace in the house. Did you hear me? Now that you marry, I'm not saying boyfriend, girlfriend. 
Not that you marry, sacrifice your right, your right so that there's peace in the house. Okay. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Shalom.